So today we're going to talk about the basic project layout for a project that I have, which incorporates Screw AI, not just as a program that you run locally, but rather one that you'll be using to actually automate the way you receive and respond to emails on your Gmail account. So on previous tutorials, if you've seen them, we've talked about how we can make Screw AI projects, how we can create the agents, create the tasks, but we haven't really incorporated them with anything outside of the Screw AI project itself. So the plan for this project is going to be for one, use our Gmail account and the Gmail API to allow Crew AI to read emails that come from specific email addresses, create a response based on the work that the agents do, and also reply with a draft for that email. So the basic layout for this plan is like this. As I make these videos for this project, I'm gonna make sure that they're broken down in easy to understand language, easy to follow through steps, so that even if you don't have any experience as a developer, a programmer, or you just haven't messed with any of these technologies, you're still able to follow them and be able to create these projects themselves. The main components of this is going to be one, of course, a Gmail app. That's where we're going to be receiving our emails. We're going to incorporate the Gmail API so that we can communicate to our application. Now, there's going to be a couple of things tied to this because with something like a Gmail application, there are some authentications and some credentials that you have to enable in order for your project or your application to communicate with Gmail. So and after that, your Gmail application is what triggers a push notification via a webhook receiver. This is what speaks to Google Cloud in order to receive that message from your Gmail notification after that Gmail is received. From here, this is where your Crew AI project is triggered in order to create the response. And again, this is going to be another component in how we're going to set up our Cray AI project. All of the ones we've been working on before were either set up locally or through a Google Colab notebook. This Cray AI project is going to have to be deployed. And for our project, we're going to do it through a serverless function. Basically, all that means is that we're going to host our project so that it can be accessed through a different application and it's going to be hosted through Google Cloud. But because we're doing it serverless, we're not going to have to worry too much about setting up the servers or any or any of those headaches. Now, at the end of that, once your Cray AI project creates the response, it's going to respond back through the API to create a draft in your Gmail account. If you want a little bit more detail on what it's going to take in order for it to complete this project, whether you want to do a little more research on your own, or maybe you just don't want to wait for me to post the videos to finish this project on your own, I'm going to post a document which lays out the steps that you need in order to complete this project. So on another side note, something I didn't want to, want to mention is that I'm currently on the wait list for Lightning Studio. So Lightning Studio is basically an online programming deployment application, which from what I've seen is one of the main advantages of it is that you can actually train low local LLMs through their machines. And again, you're only going to get charged for the time they use them. I'm pretty excited to try that out because I know some of the requests I've gotten from you guys is to look a little more into training or rather using different LLMs with Crew AI. And another thing I wanted to mention is recently I started using the Meta AI chatbot. And so far, I guess say I'm pretty pleased with it. I believe this is running with Llama 3. And again, I know maybe it seemed like a lot of hype because people are always talking about the latest one. But so far, I feel like it's been giving me the best and most useful answer for the kind of questions that I give it. So if you haven't checked it out, I definitely recommend you try it. It's free right now. So they're really trying to get ahead with the competition. This isn't sponsored at all by any means, but as I find these tools and start making good use of it, I think it's only right that I also share these with you guys so you can also start looking into them and see if they benefit you for your life or your business. If you'd like to set up some time with me for a one-on-one -on -one consultation for how you can implement AI in your business or in your personal life, or you just have some questions that you'd like to ask me about, just book a time and date on the Calendly link below and I'll be more than happy to meet with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what integrations you'd be looking forward to that you could and you would want to incorporate something like Crew AI in and I'll see you guys in the next one.